Hello there everyone. So I haven't done a sewing video or any other sort of video in a while of this type, but I made a new dress. So this is my lady skater dress pattern that I packed into a wrap dress. There are a lot of really good um, tutorials online on how to do this. A lot of people have done this, but um, what I would say is I cannot recommend the Lady Skater dress pattern, the original Coochie Q Lady Skater dress pattern enough. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, this dress is made out of Liverpool fabric. It is quite a bold print. I also made it a bit more fitted than I usually make my dresses um, because this one is supposed to have a little bit more of a formal kind of feeling. Um, I did three quarter length like elbow sleeves. Well, they're not three quarter length, they're elbow sleeves, um, which I think is nice. I also did this nifty little hem detail. I added lace to the bottom of the hem, which I think is really cute. And then I wanted you guys to look because I've been doing something a little bit different. Um, this is the first dress that I've done. This is the back. The back of my dresses usually gape open and sort of hang down in the middle. But what I have done is I followed a tutorial on Threads Magazine where I added some length because I have a round back. So I don't know if you can see them. There's two tiny darts right there on the neckline. And I also added an inch to the actual right here, um, right in the middle of the underarm. I did a pivot and drop, and you can tell from the tutorial how to do it, and added an inch to the back of the dress. And I have to say, this is the first dress I've ever made where the back doesn't gape. It actually fits my sway back much better than things usually do. So I'm going to just put links down below to all the information, all the things I talked about. I just wanted to do this really quickly because it was a good experience and um, I'm not set up to do things like sewing tutorials or show you guys how to do it. But if you're like me and you have scoliosis and your back, as you can see, I mean, look at my back from the side. I mean, I can stand straight, but it's painful. And so my normal shoulders, as you can see, there's a big, there's a big hump back there. So um, this is how I figured out how to deal with it. So thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.